Social media pop-ups. It's been a while since I made a template available. I was trying to figure out how to make it animated, but also easily customizable. So if you watch this video till the end, I'll be showing you how to customize and set up your own animated social media pop-up with OBS Studio. I'll show you how to export it as static images so you can also use it as Twitch panels. And I'll show you how to set up the browser source widget using own Pro, Stream Elements, and Streamlabs. Oh, and this is all free. The software, the services, everything. Let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to photop.com. Once you're here, you're gonna click on templates, and then in the search bar, you're gonna type my name. <laughs> so this specific one is called Spell. Click on it once, make sure it's the right one, click on it twice. I'm gonna press Control plus to zoom in, and this is basically what it is. On the right side, you'll see the layer list. There's a group called icons, where all the icons are, and that little green thing is the text. In order to edit the text, you double click on the T and type your name. Drop down the group to find the icon you want. And once you're ready, you can go to File, Export As, PNG for a static image, or GIF for an animated GIF. You'll see the animation. If you don't like the speed, you can play around with it. Then you can click save to save it. Now the question is, what if there's an icon that is not in here that you want? I have Twitch, I have X, I have YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. But all you have to do is find the logo in Google and put it inside this group. For example, I found the SoundCloud logo. I can right click on it, copy image, go back to photo P, edit, paste. It's asking me permission for my clipboard. I'll click allow. And there it is. I'm gonna make sure I put it inside the group, remember? Boom. And now it has the same properties. In order to transform it to scale it, I can go edit, transform, scale. From there, I can just make it fit. Nice, press enter, and you can file, export as, GIF. Congrats. <coughs> now here's how to make the widget with own pro. First, you wanna go to own.gg slash pro. That's my special code. Own sponsors a lot of videos on this channel, even though this particular video is not sponsored. So you wanna log in, and go to your dashboard. From there, we're gonna go to My Scenes under Stream Design. We're gonna create a new scene for it. We're gonna go Single Scene, and let's start with an empty scene. This is own Scene Builder. Now here's the cool thing. If you don't want to do all that and you want a pre-animated social media pop-up, own already has one integrated. If you click on Add Widget and you go to Live, you'll find a social media rotator and it's right there. And all you have to do here is either delete the text on the platforms you don't want and just type your name. You can set the interval. I'm gonna put it at two seconds just to show you. And it's that simple. But that's not what we're here for. So let's click add widget. Under elements, we want image carousel. Click upload file and upload all of your animated ones. That's pretty cool. We have the animated preview here and all I have to do is select them and click save. Just like that, we created our social pop-up. We can click on it to get the options. Image carousel, gonna put it at three seconds just to show you. If you wanna add more images, you can click select media, and there you go. I'm just gonna move it top left. I'm gonna click save. Then I'm gonna copy the URL by clicking here and clicking complete scene, nice. Now in OBS Studio, I can click plus, go to browser, and then paste the link. And right now it should be on screen. So with OnPro, pretty simple. By the way, just to avoid confusion, I am using a free account right now. So you can do this for free. Here's how you would do it in Stream Elements. You would probably create a new overlay. So from your dashboard, go to Overlays, click Start, Add Widget, and you're looking for Static Custom Asset Rotator slash Slideshow, all right? Left, it's gonna tell you Add Assets. Now, I already added mine, but if you click on Upload, top right, click here, it allows you to select all of them at once and then click Open to upload them. Now from there, you can click Submit, Click on it here, submit, submit. And just like that, you created your little pop-up. You can set up all the delays, show image for three seconds, just to make it go faster. Iteration pause is if you wanted to basically shut off for a couple seconds and then come back up. And then delay is if you want it to disappear in between each panel. Extra cool thing here is that you have some animations that you can choose. So it doesn't have to be just a fade in, fade out. So you can spice it up. <laughs> now, same thing for the browser. You wanna click save, give it a name, and then click on the link icon, then do your OBS thing. Add a browser source, paste the link, and it should be on screen right now. Just like that. Now, if Streamlabs is what you use, you can go to all widgets from your dashboard and find sponsor banner, that's what it's called, or you can just go here in the search bar and look for a sponsor banner. Sponsor banner settings, this is gonna be the preview. You wanna scroll down a little bit until you find add image. It's gonna add a default image, which you can change. 
by clicking select image. Click on uploads and click here and get your images in. You can only upload three files at a time. All right, so now all you have to do is select and select. Click add image, upload and select. And actually here you can set up a custom duration for each image. So if you want one thing to stay longer, you have the possibility to do that with Streamlabs. Let me save and we can change the animation also. Bounce in is a big classic. All right, so just like the others, we're gonna save settings, go back up, and we're gonna click copy for the browser source link. I'm gonna click copy. Then in OBS Studio, I'm gonna go browser, and I'm gonna paste the link. Click OK. And it should appear. Just like that. In conclusion, I'm pretty happy that PhotoP allows us to create animated stuff and also make it available for everyone. Today was my first time trying it out and I'll definitely be making more in the future. In the meantime, go follow me on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all later. Go out there, make me proud, get level.